Facebook, YouTube, hello! Happy Thursday! Welcome, welcome. No equipment required today, Facebook and YouTube. Just your body weight and your will to melt down, maybe. We'll get started shortly. Dot, and we got Alia and or Khalil. I'm dying of anticipation. Just out. There you go. How are you doing, girl? Good, good. How are you? Good, doing well. Doing well. Welcome, welcome. I was just saying, uh, no equipment needed today. All right. And we're just waiting for some latecomers. And we'll get started. Oh, all right, all right, here we go. Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope we're all having a fantastic week. It's been a quick week again in the books. We're getting through it. one week of lockdown, I believe. One week of the three to do stay at home work. We're getting there. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Gotta stay positive. All right, for two days, meltdown, warm up. We gotta get the blood pumping. Gotta get the core activated. We have 10 minutes on the clock. I'm going to change things up a little bit today. So pay attention to YouTube, Facebook, and Zoom until all this up. We have a time keeper. Okay, we have a time keeper. Live time keeper. It's going to be exciting. All right, we're going to go in order, okay, as I can see you on my screen. So we have a time keeper. For those of you that do not know, a time keeper is somebody doing that exercise for a certain amount of reps. Today it will be 20 repetitions, okay. 20 repetitions, <clears throat> excuse me, while the rest of us will be working on a different exercise until it is our turn to do the time keeper movements. Okay? <clears throat> so we're going to be starting with Marcus, and then we'll go yes, to sir. Don, and then we'll go to Rhonda, and then Dennis, and then Chelsea. Dennis, <laughs> Dennis isn't here. <laughs> no, oh, who is it? Sorry. Okay, it's just Rhonda. Okay, my apologies. My apologies. Okay. Marcus. Jeremy, I, I can't see you though. Am I supposed to see you right now? Sorry, I always get confused. Yes, you should be able to. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. First and foremost, I should be able to mute everybody. I got excited. I got excited, everybody. I got excited. We'll mute you all, and then I am going to spotlight my screen. Thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate you for pointing that out. Good. Okay, now everybody should have me spotlighted. All right, thank you for your patience, Facebook and YouTube. Okay, so as I was saying, timekeeper exercise. So we have Marcus is gonna kick us off. Okay, then we're gonna go to Dawn, Rhonda, Chelsea, and then Alia, and then all the way back up to Marcus. So we're just gonna keep going through that. All right, on Facebook and YouTube, Whenever I say that Marcus is doing his timekeeper, you will also be doing your timekeeper. All right? And then when I say the next person's name, which is Dawn, that's when you, okay, will start doing the subsequent exercises. For the first round of exercises, until we start our timekeeper, okay, we have our low to high plank. Our low to high plank. So everybody except for Marcus, because he will start us off, we'll start in a high plank position. We're going to control our hips and come on down to a low plank. And then come on up to a high plank. Control those hips, right? Shift your weight onto your forearms and your hands. Beginners, you need to do this on your knees if you need to, okay? But keep that straight body line. Low to high plank until I call your name. And then you will be doing the time to exercise, which I will demonstrate shortly. <clears throat> After you have done the time keeper exercise. You will then move on to your second movement until the timekeeper comes back to you for the second time. The second movement is mountain climbing. So high plank position, high plank position, driving your right knee to your right arm, resetting high plank, left knee to left arm, okay? And doing a nice consistent pace of this, okay? You can do cross body to increase that intensity. You can slow it down a bit, maybe to activate the core a little bit more, all right? You keep going until the timekeeper comes to you 
once more. After you were done your second time doing the timekeeper, so the second time you're doing the timekeeper, we have a third move to get through. We have wood chopper presses. Wood chopper presses. So lots of weight through your front leg. Step back with your opposite leg. Arms above head. We're going to draw that back leg up. And then we're going to crunch down and then press into that leg. All right, so we're activating our core right here. And then repeat, okay? So press, reach, press, reach, press. One side, okay? One side, remember what side you did? Because when you come back to that movement, you're gonna be doing the opposite side. So to reiterate, all right, we have a timekeeper going. Marcus will start us off. The timekeeper is 20 repetitions of jumping jacks. We all know jumping jacks, all right? 20 repetitions of jumping jacks. Once Marcus is done, I will let Dawn know then to start. And then Rhonda, and then Chelsea, and then Alia, and then all the way back up to Marcus. Until it is your turn to do the timekeeper, you'll be doing low to high plank. Then, once you finish the timekeeper the first time, we'll be moving on to mountain climbers. And then, after the third, second time you do the timekeeper, you're doing chopper presses. So on and so forth, going back up to the low to high plank, Etc. Okay? We have 10 minutes on the clock to get as many rounds done in a row. Alright, thumbs up everybody, that makes sense? Awesome, here we go. Alright, Marcus will start us off in three. You two, YouTube and Facebook will start us off in three, two, one. Time is on. Marcus is doing 20 jumping jacks. The rest of us are doing low to high plank. Very good. YouTube and Zoom, you're doing your 20 jumping jacks right now as well. Until I call Marcus's name again, then you will be doing your timekeeper again. Here we go, Marcus has done Dawn's turn. Dawn's turn. So Marcus and YouTube and Facebook, you're doing your low to high planks now. Until I call out Marcus's name again. Very good. Control those hips, low to high plank. Awesome, Pacer. There we go. That's it. Dawn is done. Rhonda is on the clock. We got 20 jumping jacks. Keep in mind, first time through these jumping jacks, you can take a nice easy pace. You can increase the pace every time it becomes your turn to be the timekeeper. That's it. So Dawn, you are now on your mountain climbers. Okay, girl? Yes. Very good, everyone. Rhonda, Mountain Climbers, Chelsea, it's your time to shine. 20 jumping jacks. Very good. The first time you see these Mountain Climbers, all right, we're going to go relatively slow and control. That's it. Very good. Get those arms to meet up the top. Straight arms, Chelsea, you got it, girl. Nice stop, man. Balls those feet. Awesome. Woo! All right, Chelsea is done. We have mountain climbers now. Alia is up. She has her 20 jumping jacks. Very good. All right. So Dawn, you're still doing your mountain climbers. Okay, girl. You still got mountain climbers to go. Yes. That's it. All right, here we go. YouTube, Facebook, and Marcus. We are on our 20 jumping jacks again. Alia, we have our mountain climbers to go. Very good. Woo! We got the hang of it. Love to see it. There he is. <laughs> Making a guest appearance. Very good. Good. Marcus, Facebook, and YouTube. After this, you're on your mountain climbers. Here we go. Dawn is up. Dawn is up. There we go, Dawn. Good. Woo! This is a good one. This is a good one. Alright, so YouTube, Facebook, we're still doing our mountain climbers until I call Marcus's name again. Alright, awesome. Okay, here we go, Rhonda, you are on. You got 20 jumping jacks. Yes, Dawn, you are doing your wood chopper presses, making sure that we press and do a little crunch into our leg and repeat. Alright, so press that leg, press that leg. Think of doing a gas pedal. Remember when you were doing a gas pedal, you are on your back? Pressing that leg as hard as you can. That kind of motion. Activating that core very subtly. Very good. All right, Chelsea's up. Here we go. 
You too, Rana, you got your yet? Yeah, wood chopper presses. Press those hands into your legs, okay? Step back, press. Step back, press. There we go. Yes, Ali and Marcus still going strong on the mountain climbers. Very good. Very good, everyone. Breathe, breathe. All right, Ali, here we go. Chelsea, you got your wood chopper presses. Good. Ali is under 20 jumping jacks. Very good. Remember, you're doing the same move until I call your name. Facebook, YouTube, and Marcus. Here we go. Jumping jack time. Alia, once you are done those, you got your wood chopper presses, okay? Ooh. Step back, press. Step back, press. Remember, as you press, you're going to engage that core, okay? Just do a mini crunch as you're pressing into that leg. Very good. Either remember what side you did the wood chopper presses, or you can switch every 10 repetitions or so. Marcus is done! Here we go. Marcus, Don, you're on. Marcus, Facebook, YouTube, we have a wood chopper press now. Step back, press. Step back, press. There we go. That's it. Don, when you are done, you're back to your low to high plank, baby. Very good pace. All right, Ronnie, here we go. 20 jumping jacks. We're on. That's it. Remember, low to high plank. You have your toes or your knees. Control those hips. I don't want to see those hips moving all over the place. If they are, go even slower. Okay? Keep that straight body line. Woo-hoo! Very good. All right, Rhonda, you are back to your little high plank. Chelsea, you're back on, girl. Here we go. That's it. Nice. That's it. Make sure we crunch into it a little bit, Marcus. There we go. All right? Oh, that's it. Nice, Alia. Very good, everyone. Woo! All right, Alia, you're up. 20 jumping jacks. Chelsea, low to high plank. Nice. Nice. Those hands are definitely touching each other. Like, that's awesome. I want to see it. Control those hips. Remember on those low to high planks. YouTube, Facebook, we're still doing our wood chopper presses. All right, Alia is done. Marcus, YouTube, Facebook, back to our 20. Jumping jacks, that's it. That's it. Good. That's it. Alia, I believe we're on our low to high planks, girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. That works too. That works too. Yeah, that works. <laughs> awesome. All right, Marcus, face with YouTube. You are done. You're down to your low to high plank. Dawn, you are up, girl. Woo! Very good. Good pace so far, everybody. Engage that core. Warming those shoulders up, that's for sure. Getting that heart rate up with those jumping jacks. Maybe those mountain climbers too, if we're going at a fast pace. All right, Dawn, you got your mountain climbers, girl. Sweater's coming off, she means business. Rhonda's turn. Yes. Yeah, we know who's ahead of us now. <laughs> Very good. Dawn is doing her mountain climbers, even really slow to contract the core, a little bit faster, maybe a mixture. Getting the heart rate up and activating the core. Facebook, YouTube, you are still doing your low to high planks. Control those hips. That's it. Just under three minutes left to go with our warm up here. That's it. Chelsea, you are on now. Rhonda, we're doing our mountain climbers, girl. Mountain climbers. That's it. Remember, each and every time you're going to be doing your mountain or your jumping jacks, maybe increase the pace a little bit. Increase the speed. Even just by 1%. That's it. Getting warmer and warmer. Very good. Very good. Awesome, here you go, Alia. Chelsea Mountain Climbers, girl. That's it. That's it, very good. Continuous Mountain Climbers here. Marcus, Facebook, YouTube, we have a load of high planks still. But now it's our turn to shine. Marcus, Facebook, YouTube, we have our 20 jumping jacks now. 
Alia, yeah, I can't see you, but I'm sure you're doing something to activate that core. You got it, girl. <laughs> That's it. Just over two minutes left now. This is it. Make sure we're about 75%, maybe 80% effort here with our jumping jacks and our movements. Very good, Marcus. Moving on. We have Dawn's up. Dawn's up. Mountain climbers now, Marcus. YouTube and Facebook. We're on our mountain climbers now. There you go. That's it. Remember, you can go fast with these. We can go cross body, slow and controlled. Up to you. Up to you. Yes, Dawn, you were done. You had your tough presses. Rhonda, you're up, bro. There you go. If you only did one side from the last time, do the opposite side this time around, those which up presses. Or switching every 10 repetitions. Very good. Woo! That's it. Right back at it, Chelsea. There you go. All right. Chelsea, you are up. Rhonda, we have our woodshop for presses now. That's it. Nice. Pressing those hands into your leg, activating that core a little bit. Good pace. Good pace, everybody. Woo! Final 20 seconds. Final 20 seconds. Here we go. Alia's turn. Can she do it? Can Alia do it? In the next 15 seconds, she has 20 reps. Go, go, go. Facebook, YouTube, Marcus, we're still doing our mountain climbers. 10 seconds now. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, there we go. Three, two, one, time. Very good, very good. How are we feeling? Big thumbs up. Yes, good job, good job. Great work, grab a drink. That was a little fun, eh? A little fun. Timekeeper experience there. Live on Zoom. Very good. Grab a drink, we'll get a stretch going. <clears throat> awesome. Woo! Were you all able to hear that 3 2 1 beat from the timekeeper? Nah, kind of. <laughs> I'm just curious. Just curious how the uh, acoustics are on here. Alright, here we go. Let's do some neck rotations now. So I'm going to look to my right, and I'm going to relax it, and then look to my right again. So like a little pulse. Look to my left, relax, and then look to the left again. Good. Right, right, left, left. Good. One more time each side. Awesome. Right, I'm going to look down. So imagine you're pivoting right, right where you're behind your jaw. Okay. So you're going to look down as far as you can. Get a little double chin action here. Make your voice sound funny. And then look up as high as you can without bending your neck. You're just pivoting right behind your jaw. Feel it in the base of your skull. One more time. Down as far as you can. Good. And then up as high as you can. Awesome. Woo! All right. Big arm circles. You're gonna reach as far as you can. Go up to the sky, reach to the sky, then reach for the wall behind you. Oh, and reach for the floor. Very good. Once more this direction, and then we'll do two more the other direction. Remember, this is not very fast because it's a big, big enthusiastic stretch. Very good. That's it. Nice. Once you've done two per direction, we're going to activate those hip flexors now. All right, so bring one leg up as high as you can and hold it. That's it. Hold it. So we'll do some ankle rotations here. Four sweet ankle rotating. Yeah, moving that up. Other direction now. Starting to feel that hip flexor burn a little bit. Nice balance, everybody. Good. I'm going to rotate that leg out to the outside. Keep it high. Good. Bring it back to the inside. And then we're going to actually not bring it down, but we're going to extend it behind us. We're going to come forward. Straight leg balance. Very good. If you can, open that hip up. Okay. To the side. Find that balance. Only go as high as you're comfortable with. Okay. Then bring that hip back down. Good. Come back to a stand with your leg raised. There you go. And then relax. Woo! Challenging those stabilizer muscles, eh? Very good. Opposite leg now. 
Bring it up. Pull as high as you can. Activate those hip flexors. Rotate those ankles. That's it. Other direction now. Very good, very good. Bring your legs to the outside. Make those boots up just a little bit. Bring your leg back to the middle. Alright, now we're going to lean forward. Extend that leg back. Alright, can you get those hips like better than that knee that's on the ground? And open up those hips to the side. Woo! I'm going to put my finger on the ground so I can balance a little bit. That's it. Bringing your hip back down, slow and control. That's it. Bring that leg back up. Good, and relax. Very good. Shake it out, shake it out. Awesome. All right, we're going to do 20 marches. So get those heels high off the ground. On the ball of our feet only, as high as you can. 20 marches total. Then we have 20 heel marches. So the balls of feet are as high off the ground. It's like those knees, so it's not too awkward. Warm those ankles up. Awesome, awesome. So 20 per, once we're done that, we're going to get our feet close together. Just some knee swivels now. So as I bend my knees, I'm going to push them over to the left. Keep your feet planted by the way on the ground. And then far forward, all the way to the right. And back up to the top, to straight. All right, give me five swivels per direction. Okay, try to keep those feet planted. Sometimes you're going to want to come off, so only go as deep as possible. As long as those feet are planted. Good. Awesome. Now once you've done that, we're going to walk ourselves out to a high plank hold. Good. Awesome. Hold it here until we all get there. Very good. After that core just a little bit more. Be mindful of where our hips are. Are they in line with our body? Are they sinking down too much? Or is their butt way in the air? Really feel that in the core. Good. Drop down those knees. Alright. Here we are. We're going to thread the needle here, okay? So my right arm is going to come down. I'm going to relax on my shoulder here. Okay? So on my shoulder, on my knees. From here, left hand is on top of my right hand. From here, open up. Oof, that left arm to the sky. As high as you can. Come back down. Alright, open it up. So as you can, come back down. Once more. Put it up. Yes. Feel that stretch in your back. Come back down. Awesome. Place your left hand. Put yourself back up. So both hands down. We'll do the opposite side, okay? Left arm is going to come under our right arm. Shoulders on the ground. All right, on my knees. On my left shoulder. Right hands on top of my left hand. Open up. Oh, as high as you can. Come back down. Open up. As high as you can. Get some good cracks over here. Good. One more time. Rotate up as high as you can. Put it back down. Plant that right arm to the ground. Good. Both arms on the ground now. Bring your hands close to your knees. Lean forward. Rotate side to side. Rotate side to side. Stretch that wrist. Yes, maybe. Good. Hands on, or on the back of our hands now. Fingers pointing towards you. Straight arms. Sit back to your heels until you find tension in your wrists. So you side to side. Good. All right. Get those hands up into plate position now. Pedal up those feet. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Pedal, pedal. Warm those ankles up. Very good, everyone. Awesome. When you're ready, walk your hands to your feet or feet to hands. Just relax here. Head is heavy, everything's heavy. Always good to decompress the spine. Deep breaths here, stretching it all out. Slowly coming up to full stand, stacking those vertebrae one at a time. Head is heavy all the way to the top. Here we go, baby. Grab a drink, stretch out whatever else you need to as I demonstrate the workout to come. All right, feeling good, feeling good. <clears throat> so, for our workout 1.0, we have three supersets to get through. Each superset we're gonna be going twice through. 
There was two moves in the superset. First move is done for 60 seconds, really focusing on the core. Second move is done for only 30 seconds, because we're working on agility here, our quickness. And then we'll do that twice through before moving on to the next superset. Now we'll demonstrate each superset one at a time. Your first move in superset number one, hollow gas pedals, hollow gas pedals. So think about doing a hollow hold, okay? So instead of hinging your hips, I want you to thrust your hips, okay? So thrust your hips, pressing that low back into the ground. Then feet, we're gonna raise, hands are gonna raise overhead. From here, I'm going to come on up. So head and shoulders come on up, bending my legs, and my hands are meeting my legs and pressing in for one, two, and then reaching back. Coming back up. One, two, hard press. Coming back. Okay. To modify, hands under your butt. Just do the leg portion of this move. Reaching the legs out, coming up, holding for one, two, and then extending for one, two. But try the full version. Try the full version first. That move is done for 60 seconds. Then we have alternate leg Heismans. Alternate leg Heismans. So three is the magical number here. We have three alternate legs, and so one leg starts in front of the other. Think of doing a half lunge position. You want to switch legs, so one, two, three, and then after that, you're going to be doing three, or, high, or sorry, a Heisman side to side, so one per side. And with this, it's outside, okay, inside, outside, and then draw that inside knee, all right? So outside, inside, outside, and then plant that foot, and you have your one, two, three alternate legs. And bring your foot, feet in line, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so three alternate legs, followed by a Heisman to each side, which is three steps and a knee drive for 30 seconds. We have this going twice through, starting with your hollow gas pedals. Hollow gas pedals, we're on our backs, we're on our backs. Also, while we're getting set up, we have a resercise to get done in between each move. A resercise. What's a resercise? It's a move to complete as fast as you can so you maximize the break time in between your movements. However, you can go as slow as you want, but you've got to get it done before the next move starts. Your resercise is 10 plank jacks. So you're in a high plank position, your feet start close together, and you're going to jack them out and in. So one, two, three, four. Five. Have ten. Here we go. I will remind you of that as we get going. Hollow gas pedals in three, two, one. Time is on. So reach out, extend the hollow hold position, then come back up, bend those knees, and then press your hands into those knees for one, two seconds, and then reach back out to a hollow hold. Good. That's it. If this is too difficult for you, just put your hands under your butt, protect your low back, extend those legs, hold them up for two seconds, and then bring your legs back in and hold them for two seconds. We are halfway there, baby. Come on. Very good. Make sure those low backs are pressed into the ground. That's it. Good, Chelsea. Press into those legs, Chelsea. Press into those legs, everybody. Press hard. Reach back. I like these holds. That's it. Ten seconds now. Come on. Very good, everybody. I can see some of your limbs flying in the air. Three, two, one. Time. Ten plank jacks. Ten plank jacks. Here we go. One, two, three. Five plank jacks. Get ten done. As quickly as you can. Once you're done, you might have ten seconds or so here to relax. Or we have our alternate leg, three alternate leg Heismans. All right, so remember, one, two, three, then one, two, three, three. Time is on. Here we go. Three alternate legs, one, two, three, then three, one, two, three. That's it. And repeat. That's it. Make it quick. It's only 30 seconds of work. Very good. Already right, halfway, baby. Three alternate legs, one, two, three. Reset, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. 
and go again. Good. Three, two, one. Time. Rest your size. Here we go. Ten plank jacks. Ten plank jacks. Where are we going? Where are we going? And then we're back to our hollow gas pedals in ten seconds. So lay on your backs. Get yourselves ready. Breathe. Breathe. Here we go. Five seconds now. On our backs. Three, two, one. Follow the hold. Bend those knees. Bring your hands to your legs. Press one, two, and then reach back out. Whoo! Very good. Lots of core activation here. Press into those legs as hard as you can for two seconds. Reach out to that hollow hold for two seconds. And repeat. Challenge yourself here. That's it. That's it. Time halfway. Very good. Make sure we breathe here. Breathe, especially when you press your hands to your legs. Good. Remember to thrust those hips when you're doing your hollow hold so your low back is pressing the neck around. Come on. <laughs> 10 seconds, baby. Good pace, everyone. Full extension. Big press. Three, two, one. All right, high plank jacks. Come on now. 10. You got 10. That's it. We know what to do. Very good. Now we're going to get ready for our three alternate legs. So remember, one, two, three. It's a half lunge. Bring your feet back in line and then go one, two, three. One, two, three. Time is on. Here we go. That's it. One, two, three. Stay low, stay athletic with it. Make it quick, Troy. That's it. After this, there is no exercise. This is the last move, super set number one. Come on, make it count. There we go. That's gone, that's gone. Three, two, one, time. Grab a drink, breathe. Now we know the rhythm of the superset workout 1.0. Two new moves. First move, frog penguins. Frog penguins. On our backs, we're going to bring our feet together. If this is uncomfortable, have your legs up to the side. You can always just kind of bring your feet up to the side, okay? Or as much as feet. When I have my feet together, legs up to the side. Head, chest off the ground, arms up to my side. I'm gonna use my core to bring my hand to my leg and then Press the right hand for one, two, and then I use my core to bring my hand to my left side. Press into my leg, one, two, okay? Other side, one, two. Head and shoulders always up the ground. One, two, that's it. Then, your agility movement. <clears throat> we have quick feet, quick feet, high knees. The magical number here is four. So, starting in a neutral stance, you're gonna step in, in, out, out. Okay, that is quick feet. Every time your feet come together in the middle, that's one rep. Okay, you go out, out, in, in. That's two, three, four. So I have four. Now I have four high knees to do. Four total. That's it. They better be quick. They better be high. So one, two, three, four. All together now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, that's quick. That's quick. And don't forget, your 10 plank jack rest exercise in between movements. Starting with our frog penguins on our backs now. Feet together, legs up to the side. In three, two, one. Time is on. So use your core to move your torso so you can make contact with your right hand to your right leg and press forward for two seconds. Repeat. On the opposite side, making sure your head and your shoulders are off the ground the entire time. That's it. Very good. Very good, everybody. Use that core. Very good. Good pace. Make sure we breathe. We're halfway. We're flying through this. This is only as hard or as difficult as you make it. 
How hard are you pressing into those legs? Very good. Press, press, press. Keep those shoulders and head off the ground. Use that core to move your hands to make contact to your leg. Don't reach your hand to your leg. Use that core to bring your arm in. Three, two, one. Roll on over, 10 high plank jacks. Here we go. Come on. Quickly get these done before a breather you have before your next movement. 10 high plank jacks. 10. We have our four quick feet. So in, two, three, four. Four high knees. One, two, three, four. Woo! Maybe. Time is on, baby. Time is on. That's it. So every time your feet come to the middle, that is one rep. You have four reps and then four high knees total. So you better drive those knees high. Stay on the balls of your feet, stay athletic. Very good.
Then, one 30 second agility exercise. Our speed skater tuck jumps. Oh baby, speed skater tuck jumps. So we've all done a skater before, where you hop from one side to the other, you gain that bounce, right? My leg, back leg is not touching around, or just barely touching the ground. With a speed skater, <clears throat> we're gonna keep it short and sweet and speed. We're gonna go one, two, so it's quick. Plant that other leg down, then we have tuck jump. Okay, so we're gonna jump, we're trying to knees as high as we can. Ooh. Land, get ready, one, two. Plant that foot, tuck jump. One, two, tuck jump. One, two, tuck jump. Okay, if the tuck jump is not for you, we're gonna do speed skater, and then big squat, make it a deep squat. So speed skater, deep squat. All right, don't forget your exercise of 10 plank jacks in between every move. Here we go, starting with a side to side plank dips in three, two, one. Time is on, baby. That's it. Low plank arms are crossed or high plank. We're gonna increase the intensity. Slowly rolling over. Dip that hip down to the ground. Don't let it fully touch though. Just kissing the ground with that hip. There we go. We need some Shakira music on for this move. Yes. Good control, everybody. Make sure those feet are pretty close together so we can rotate more efficiently. Control those hips, make sure we're in a straight body line, especially when we rotate back over to our low plank. Our butt will want to go up. You got to keep a nice straight body line. Be mindful of that. Engaging that core. Woo! Side to side plank dips. You can easily do this on your knees as well. So challenge yourself. Three, two, one. Stay where you are. You're in your 10 plank chats, baby. You're already in position. You're already in position. That's it. 10 plank jacks. And then breathe. We'll come onto our feet. And we have our speed skater. Tuck jumps. So remember, one, two, short, two here. Back up to the leg. Jump as high as you can. And then one, two, three, two, one. Time goes on. It. Stay low, stay controlled. If the jump is not for you, you better get a quick, yet deep squat in there. So speed skate, speed skate, plant that foot, deep squat. That's it. Very good. Nice, Justin. Get up there, Ali. Yeah, go. Three, two, one. High plank jacks. Here we go. Ten. You know what to do. You know what to do. Breathe. Breathe. Here we go. Face the two, two. Come on. We know what we're doing right now. Make sure we're done before the next movement starts. Awesome. Back to our side to side plank dips. In three, two, one. Time is on. Side plank hip dip. Come on over, off to side, dip, dip, good. If you want to, beginner, you can always rotate over, bend that bottom leg, dip, dip. If being on two knees is a little bit too easy or too, too difficult or hurts for any reason, starting on your toes, rotating over, bending that bottom leg, and then hip dipping. And then straighten those legs, get back to your low plank position. Whoop. Good control. Here we go, Marcus. Keep that straight body line as you do your dip. Nice shot. That's it, Ali. Ronda Dawn, we're putting in work today. We're challenging ourselves today. Some functional core strength here. Ten more seconds. Good. Woo! Nice, Marcus. There we go. That's the end. Three, two, one more dip. Back to our. 10 plank jacks, baby. Very good. That's it. Making sure those hips aren't bouncing up and down too much. Bend back on our feet. Breathe. Breathe. We have 10 seconds to breathe. Speed skater, tuck jumps. Here we go. Speed skater, speed skater. Plank, jump, jump. Speed skater, speed skater. Or a deep squat. Three, two, one. Here we go. Come on. Last. Move of superset number three of workout 1.0, baby. 
Here we go. Come on. Stay low, stay control. Speed skater, speed skater, speed skater. Man, jump, jump. Speed skater, speed skater. Woo! For a quick squat. Nice run. Three, two, one. Relax, relax. Grab a drink. Woo! -wee. Well done. Well done, baby. Awesome work. Breathe. As I demonstrate, workout 2.0. 2.0. We have and eliminate and create your fate. Eliminate and create your fate. So be mindful of all the moves that we have going on. <clears throat> There's 20 repetitions per move, 10 minutes on the clock. We have one, two, three, four, five moves to complete. 20 repetitions up. After you've done all five moves, 20 repetitions, you're going to take away one of those moves. And then do them all again for 20 repetitions. Then take another move away. And then another move. And another move. Until you're down to one move left. Okay? If you get down to that one move and complete it with 20 repetitions within the time minute time frame, you're then going to create your fate by adding back a move. And then adding back a move. And adding back a move. Okay? Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. 20 repetitions per move, for five moves. And you'll take one away. Now you have four moves. 10 minutes to do so. First move, high bird dog presses. Okay, so I mean a high plank position. High plank position. My right arm can extend as my left leg extends. Pause. Come on down. Meet my right arm to my left leg. Press. That's one. Two. Focus. Three. You have ten per side. Ten per side. If that's too difficult to balance with, then just do regular bird dogs. So you're in a tabletop position, uh, extend your right arm, right leg, or left leg, pressing your hand to your leg underneath. 10 per side for a total of 20 repetitions. And then, after that, we have scissor kicks. You're on our back, on our back, hands under your butt, legs straight, head shoulders to the ground, one leg comes up, that's one, two, three, alternate legs, four, five, six, nice consistent pace. It's not a race. Gotta engage that core. We have 20 repetitions total. And then after that, we're gonna roll on over and you have 20 alternate leg ups. High plank position. One leg starting. So my right leg's gonna start beside my right hand. Left leg back. From here, you're gonna switch. That's one, two, three. Or you can step back to high plank and step up. Okay? Each time your leg comes up on your hand, that's 20 repetitions. And we have praying mantis twists. This one's relatively quick. Play makes position. Okay. Knees bent off the ground. I slap back. Feet together. Feet pretty close together here. Then I'm going to use my core to twist my knees out side to side. Okay. See that? One, two, three, four. Using that core. I'll show you a side and a back for you. Okay. There you go. Awesome. Using that core to rotate. And then lastly, you have hip twists. Hip twists. Starting in a neutral stance. I'm going to twist so my body faces the left side. Okay? So twist, that's one, back to neutral, and to the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Always going back to the middle before you twist your legs. You have 20, 20 total. Here we go, baby. Five moves to get done, 20 repetitions per move. Once you've gone through once, then you're going to take away which one you don't want to do. And you'll have four moves to get done. And then three, and then two, and then one. We have 10 minutes on the clock. Starting with your high bird dog or regular bird dog presses. 10 per side. In three, in two, and one. 10 minutes is up. Here we go. So if you're choosing the high bird dog, you're in a high plank position, extending opposite limbs and pressing your hands to your knee underneath. If you're in a regular bird dog, you're doing the same. Extending opposite limbs and pressing your hand to your knee underneath. 10 repetitions per side for a total of 20 repetitions. Very good. Awesome, awesome. Woo! Good pace, everybody. Good. Keep that back flat, activate that core so that we don't lose balance. After that, we have our scissor kicks. 
Scissor kicks, we're on our back. Hands under your butt. Head shoulder off the ground. Legs as straight as possible. Each kick is one rep. We have 20 repetitions. And then after your scissor kicks, you have alternate leg ups. Each leg up counts as one. Make it quick. Make it quick. You can step back in the high plank and step the opposite leg if you want, or do a full on switch. 17 switch. <clears throat> Good. Nice one. Good. Just get a little pulse in there. There you go, Marcus. After your alternate leg ups, you have your mantis twists. So we're in a praying mantis position. Tabletop here, knees be off the ground. Feet close together, though, from here. Use your core to twist your knees as far out to the side as you can. One, two, three, four, five. Each twist is one repetition. That's it. You have your mantis twists here, Don, I think. If you haven't done them already. If you've done them already, we are on to our hip twists. Hip twists. So we're going to twist and come out neutral and twist the opposite side. Each twist to the side is one, one, two, three, four, five. So you have ten per side. Very good. That's a Chelsea. Use that core, girl. Good. And once you are done your hip twists, we do it all again. And now you're taking away one of the moves. One of the moves. So we have our choice between high bird dog presses, scissor kicks, alternate leg ups. Mantis twists and hip twists. Take away one of those moves, the rest of the moves you're going to do for 20 repetitions again. Very good. The choice is yours. Maybe you don't like agility whatsoever, so you're going to get rid of the hip twist or the alternate leg up. Maybe you don't like core for whatever reason. You get rid of a core movement. Maybe simply you're just going to take away the first move that is in the order. <clears throat> Good. That's it. Remember, we have our high bird dog presses. Scissor kicks, alternate leg ups, mantis twists, and hip twists. But now it depends on what you eliminated at home. Very good, everybody. Good pace. Remember to breathe now. Remember to breathe. Good. I want straight legs as possible. Full, full range of motion on those scissor kicks. Very good, Alia. Yes, Dawn and Chelsea. Very good. Nice reach, Rondo. Here we go. What does Marcus have up next? He's going to do his hip twists. Looks like he got rid of the mantis twists, I think. Yeah, very good. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Chelsea, use that core, girl. Nice, quick feet, dog. Very good. Here we go, Elliot. What do we got next, girl? Hip twists. Very good. All right, Marcus has eliminated another move. Remember, we have our high bird dog presses, scissor kicks, alternate leg ups. Followed by mantis twists and followed by hip twists. So Marcus has eliminated two moves now. I think some of us, or most of us maybe, are on that third round through. And we're just about halfway through workout 2.0. Right, very good. That's it, Chelsea. What are we going to eliminate now? We're keeping the bird dogs, it looks like. Very good. That's it. Good speed, everyone. Make sure you breathe. Very good. Use those hips. Do twists. Twist and shout. Yes, dude. Very good. There we go. A little bit slower, Marcus. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. There you go. Good. Gauge that core a little bit more. Press that hand into that leg, Charles. You got it. Nice pace, Alia. Good run. Woo! Remember, we have our high bird dog presses. Scissor kicks, alternate leg ups, mantis twists, 
and hip twists. 20 repetitions per move, deleting one move every round through that we get. So ultimately you have one move left. And if you get done that one move left within the time limit, you're going to start to create your base by adding movements each round. Nice. We're getting there. We're getting there. Everybody loves the scissor kicks apparently. Very good. Awesome. Remember, engage that core, using that core to bring your legs up. Good, good. Very good, everybody. Woo! We're about two thirds done now. Dig deep, dig deep. Remember, it's not a race. I don't care if you finish the this uh, all the movements or not. Eliminating them as long as you have good quality repetitions and that you are challenging yourself. There you go. Good. That's it. High plank. Bird dog presses. Engage that core. Press. Press. Good. Otherwise, regular bird dog. Extend. Press. Keep that back flat though. I want you to crunch down. Just pressing your hand to your leg. Action that core a little bit more. Very good. Now remember with the hip twists, we're always coming back to a neutral stance. So you'll twist this side and go back to facing the front. And twist the opposite side. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Only counting the twist to the side, not to the moon. Ten per side there. Very good. Woo! Alright, I think some of us are getting there. I think some of us are getting there. If you get down to one move for 20 repetitions, you still have two minutes. We're now we're gonna to start to add a move. So now you have two moves to get done, 20 repetitions per. And then three, all the way back up to five if you can. Very good. I'm seeing a lot of feet swinging. We still love the scissor kicks. <laughs> awesome. Good core engagement there. Good pace all around on those kicks. There we go. That's it, Marcus. Engage that core, find that balance, get a wider base if you need to, so have your hand and your foot wider out. Engage that core. There you go. Good. Press that hand to that leg, Chelsea. Press it. There you go. Here we go, Rhonda. What's next, girl? Woo! Oh, hip twists. Yes. He's loving those. Don, nice pace. A little bit slower there, Don. Just a little bit. Good. One more minute for us. Come on. Here we go. That's it. That's it. When the time hits zero, I want you to finish whatever movement that you're on. So if you're done 10 rips of whatever movement, you're going to get all the way to 20, even though the time is done, okay? So whatever move you are on, when the timer hits zero, finish that movement for 20 reps. Very good. Here we go, 30 seconds now. That's it. That's it. Woo! Good, quick twist. Come on, Marcus, breathe, baby, breathe. That's it. Here we go, Alan. You got it. Big extension. Oh, we're doing the mantis twist now. Yes, good. Haven't seen those in a while from people. <laughs> there we go. Use that core. We have five seconds. So three, two, one. Now finish whatever move you're on for 20 repetitions. So if you're on 10 repetitions, keep going until you hit 20. If you just started, keep going until you hit 20. If you're on 18, you're pretty much done by now. There you go. Well done, well done, well done. Right to the end. If you're done, grab a quick drink. Very good, very good, everybody. We have a little finisher to get done. Very well done. Awesome. Woo! Quick drink. We have a hollow hole challenge. Hollow hole challenge. I'm going to start a timer. 
Alright, be mindful. Try to hold a hollow hold as long as you can. As long as you can. Now keep this time in mind. Keep this time in mind. <clears throat> Let's see here. Direction. So I'm going to give you five minutes. <laughs> if you do five minutes, I'll be very impressed. Lay on our backs, hollow hold as long as we can. Thrust those hips, low back is into the ground. This is our finisher. Legs raised, arms raised. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. Here we go, baby. Five minutes maximum. This is your finisher. Hold it as long as you can. And three. And two. And one. Time is on. Very good. There you go. Oh, that's it. I figured out the time. Hold it, hold it. Arms above head if possible. Engage that core. Hold it as long as you can. Press that lower back into the ground by trusting your hips. Woo! -hoo! Head and shoulders off the ground. Hold it, baby. This is your finisher. This is it for the day. You tell yourself, one more second. One more second. Just keep going. Keep breathing. Come on, baby. <laughs> Woo! We're approaching one minute. Let's try to get there. Challenge yourself. That's it. Yes. I can't even see half of you. I'm sure you're crushing it. There we go. Good. That's it. If it's too easy, get those legs a little bit closer to the ground. There you go. Wow, we're still going strong. We're still going strong. Very good, Rhonda. Yes. As soon as those legs drop, arms drop, you're done. And note the time, it's on the clock, so you can challenge yourself in the future. Very good. Keep pushing it, YouTube, Facebook. We got this. We got this. Hold it. Hold it. Very good. Hollow hold. So arms are off the ground, legs are barely off the ground. Good. That's it. As soon as your form is compromised, and you are done. Well done, Noah. Good, Charles. Good. Good push. Woo! Nice, Howard. Very good, everybody. Well done. Know your time. We all got a pretty similar time there. Yes. Much love, Chelsea. Have a great night. And Marcus is just casually still going. <laughs> Very good. So, Marcus, you keep going, buddy. I'm going to mute everybody so we can cheer you on. There we go. Oh, babe. Keep pushing him, man. Get those Keep ass. Pushing. Yes. You have to go over there and punch him. You have to go over there and punch him. Keep going. Hold it. Come on, straighten those legs a little bit further. Straighten a little bit further, yeah. It's going to be tough now. Woo, there we go. Yes. That way. That was 251 or so, I think, there, Marcus. Very good. Very good, buddy. Great challenge today. Great to see you all, as always. Make sure you get a stretch on, okay? Make sure you get a stretch on. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, my pleasure, Alia. Have a great night. Get Khalil out here next time, eh? He's like, just at night. Okay. Sure. <laughs> we're fasting all day. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I know. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. <laughs> well, go beat him up nonetheless, eh? Very good. Very good. My pleasure, my pleasure. Marcus, well done, eh? Fantastic push. And we'll see you two tomorrow. Yes. Today's my first day. Yesterday and the day before was a bit tough, but today I was like, no, I want to try, but I'm exhausted. Yeah. Yes. So when are you when are you able to uh, what, eat? I'm unfamiliar with the uh, Oh, it's a month long. So it's uh, a month long from sunrise to sunset. So around eight, I'll be good to eat. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. So it's good, it's nice and close. I was just saying, it's pretty, it's pretty close. Yeah? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 
Awesome. And then Ian, when's Ian? It's uh, like a... Like uh, May 13th. So like a little thing. Oh man, very good. Just three getting. Exactly. It'll be good, it's good, right? It's yeah, good. yeah. Very good, very good. Well, well I'm glad you... Now. Yes, I'll be here. I will be here. I'm making a workout as we speak. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe? Come on, maybe. I probably will be. I'm getting new tools tomorrow, so I might really, uh, you know, in the later. We'll see. Right, right. All right. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you maybe tomorrow, okay? Have a great night. Take care.